As a sophomore, Bianca Eichkorn climbed the ranks en route to one of the best individual seasons in team history. Her freshman year, though, was quite the culture shock. Basically, when I came here August 2007, that was my first step into the United States ever, so it was pretty exciting. Bianca said goodbye to the small town lifestyle in Tengen, Germany. She trekked over to the U.S. to begin school at the University of Miami. The differences between where she grew up and her new home were endless. You can you can't even compare it because I grew up in a village with like 2,000 people. But Miami was not even the destination that Bianca had originally planned. Miami was basically almost like an accident. My first choice uh, was um, Pepperdine, and then the coach called me in two like in January yeah, and told me that he needed a girl right then and he doesn't have a scholarship anymore and he was pretty good friends with Paige, my coach now here and then he basically called her and said um, listen I have this girl and so that's basically how I got here and when I came here I just thought vacation like all the palm trees that was for me always like just vacation and relaxing going to the beach I was so busy the first like couple days I just ran from like one point to the other point Hi, I'm Bianca Eichkorn and Tuesdays and Thursdays I start my day off at 8 in the morning with weights. Just like the play? No quiz today again. Did you get the email? Yeah. I think it definitely pays off our work in the weight room. And I think it's just like, it, it's great how he works with us and I mean I have improved a lot in my fitness and I think that show, shows on the court now too. Compared, like my, comparing my freshman year to where I am now. Because next week we will max out. All right, and I expect everybody to go up in their maxes. When I first got here, I think I was like so scared. He's he's just like such a huge person, and the way he looks and everything, I was like, oh my god, I hope he doesn't kill me. No. We got a little challenge we got to do at the end of the workout. All right, here we go. Power clean. Let's go. The weight should not be heavy at all. If you've been working out, happy Dixon, the weight should not be heavy at all. So I didn't know what to do, so I tried to fix it. Yeah. Bianca did suffer a setback during her sophomore year when she injured her shoulder. It was probably just like overuse and just like me, um, I kept going and going and I mean it kind of like hurt in the weight room so I kind of reduced the lifting and once like you stop strengthening like the parts that are weak and like you keep going then you just, it, it's getting worse. And then after NCAAs I just like um, got surgery and then I stayed here through the summer doing rehab and I think that was key that I stayed here and basically I really like worked um, hours every day to get like my shoulder back where it is now and I mean knock on wood it's great. Long hours at the court were another adjustment. For me, the whole tennis, like the practice and everything, the fitness, it was so different. At, like at first, I really like doubted myself if I could do that because the whole mentality, like the work ethic here on court and off the court in the weight room, I wasn't used to um, do that at all, especially the um, amount of hours. Like when I was home, I probably practiced like one and a half hours and gave everything and that was it. And here, like being able to like stay out there for four hours and really like give everything that was tough.
after an hour of weights and three hours of practice and a quick lunch break, it's time now for my classes. I have finance um, 431 now, that's international finance. So yeah, I'm taking a professional selling marketing 340 and I really love the class I mean I think even if you aren't like a marketing major or anything it's like a great class to take I just said it's like more a tourist you know Miami like more international and stuff you probably never looked at this before let's see whether you can scoop this out the US what's the name of the company USA importers USA importers is the corporate importer Bianca spends more time on her schoolwork than most student athletes as she majors in international business and marketing. Tonight it's probably going to take a while, huh? That's what I huh? No, me too. Like, let's just get it like seriously, like done. Yeah. Bianca has adjusted to the American culture and to being a Division One student athlete. But one thing will never change. That's probably one of like my biggest challenges, like coming here. I'm a huge family person, and like my family, it's basically everything to me and my friends too. And still, like after three and a half years, that's what I miss the most. This was basically one of my regular days. I had weights in the morning, practice, and then class. My name is Bianca Eichgorn, and thanks a lot.